So we're going to Saw's Barbecue, and uh, it's right here. It's a, it's probably the best location store-wise. Uh, it's a clean, beautiful strip mall, kind of an old town feel. These little shops behind us, and there's a New York Pizza next door. We may have to just sneak in there and see if we can get a slice. But first, let's do the next one. Grilla Grills, thank you for sponsoring this tour. And this is the Grilla Grills Barbecue Wars Tour. And we are in stop number six, I think it is. All right, let's go inside. So are we, is this it? Yep, I think so. Saw's Barbecue. All right. Big difference from the last place you've been, huh? Awesome. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Huh? Yeah, uh, it's gonna be for here. You got you got mac and cheese? You got baked beans and coleslaw? You got chicken? Full pork? Ribs? Brisket? Oh, but you normally carry brisket? Every now and then. Every other day, I say like that. Just not today. You were awesome. Yes, What's your name? Kelnor. What is it? Kelnor. Kelnor? Kelnor. Kenny, my name's Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack. Thank you, sir. Hey, where'd you guys go? Dude. I stepped I step to the restroom and you guys bailed on me. Yeah. What are we looking at? The smoker, man. Yeah, I know y'all was I can smell it from here. <laughs> Serious. That's the kitchen master. That is amazing. That's, that's the man right there, man. That's the man. Are you the master? Can I film you? Can I film you? Can I? Yeah? So you the one who makes everything? I mean, everybody works in the kitchen. We works as a team, the, right? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Renee. Renee? My name's Jack. Yeah. What, what's your name? Roberto. Roberto. Yeah. Como estas? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so you guys all work together to make the, all the barbecue? Yeah. Yep. And then do you guys make the sauce by hand? Yeah, we do the sauce. I mean, we, this one, that's the, the boss recipe, but we can make it too. And we make the white sauce and the right. little thick sauce. Right. Okay, so so this is your homemade, the boss's recipe, yeah, right? Yeah, the boss's recipe. And is that, who's the owner? Uh, Mike Wilson. Mike Wilson. He's still the owner, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, so... What, is that the regular, original sauce yes, right sir. there? Is that a spicy one or what? This is the spicy one. Oh, that's this the spicy This is a little, little sweet. A little sweet? Yeah. And then what else you got? You got a little white sauce. Oh, this Alabama white, white sauce. sauce? Yeah. No way. Yeah. All right, can I, can I get some of that to go to the table? Yeah. I want my friends to try it. There you go. We'll just got this. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm going to take this to the table. We're going we're gonna to review this. Okay. This stuff's great. I bet you guys nailed it. Look at, look at the towel here. Oh, oh, oh. They have blue towels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. heavy duty. Oh, is he sitting here? All right, cool. It doesn't matter. Nah, it's okay. I'll squeeze over. Okay, so it breaks my heart that they don't have brisket, dude. Yeah, I know. And they have it like every so often. I'm like, what are you going to roll the dice to get brisket? Yeah. That's a bummer. I'm so in love with this place so far. Yeah. I'm digging like the, the... atmosphere? Yeah, the decor. Especially this. These are the best napkins. They're like medical napkins or something. Yeah. 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 Okay, you ready to try? Have you ever had Alabama white sauce? No. What? You've never had Alabama white sauce? What's wrong? Okay, I gotta ask Mitch. What? Ever had Alabama white barbecue sauce? No, but it, it was originated here in Alabama. Uh, wait, wait, did you really just say that? Yeah. I, I don't think I... Dude? What? He had to explain it came from Alabama. It's called Alabama white sauce. It's not imported? No. Yeah, it's not imported from from El Alabama in Mexico. You gotta ask him. All right, guys, I love this sauce. Okay. It's like nothing you've ever tried. Go ahead and try it. All right, all right. So you've already tasted it. Go ahead, Jim. I want I like to try it, this. By the way. You like it? Yeah. Awesome. That was good. Cool. Okay. That'll work. You'll, if it's available, you'll grab some on the side. Yeah, yeah, that's you get okay. French fries in it, whatever you want. Uh, it's kind of got a ranchy, um, sour creamy buttermilk, almost, almost like a ranch dressing is what I would, I would come to. But of course, I hadn't had. I just right. was it sour, sour cream. cream? Okay. Yeah. I mean, just one, 
That's what I'm tasting right now. Do you like it? I can yeah. I could go yeah. for a potato. Yeah. You want that on a potato, huh? Okay, we got two plates. Oh, good. And we're looking at coleslaw, mac and cheese and beans, whole pork. Oh, they put the Alabama white sauce on there? Yeah, on the chicken. On the chicken. Yeah. And then we got this plate right here, the ribs. We ordered extra the ribs. Uh, yeah. We're missing the meat or that's all, right? That's it. All right, so let's dig in, guys. Okay, we're going to do pull pork first. Yeah, go ahead, pull pork okay. first. All right, here we go, guys, pull pork. We're at the end of the day, let everybody know. Oh. What? What? Super juicy. What? Super, I mean, just almost, almost just melts in your mouth. No, not right. Do I have to chew this? It's just kind of going down. It's dissolving. It is, I mean, it's just dissolving. It's wonderful. Really? It, it really is. Right, that's the best you've ever talked about any pulled pork on the yeah, show yet. Yeah, uh, this, yeah, yeah, this is. Okay, so let's go with so moist. What did you say about the cold sauce? <laughs> this is on. Uh, I'm, this is getting top rating right here because Why? I love, I love vinegar cold sauce. Right, always have. Oh, this is 100 percent vinegar. This is, uh, yes, it and is. And you can see the, the celery seed. Absolutely. I think Great. it's something else. I'm saying celery seed, but I thought it was no. It's it's celery, celery seed. Yep. Okay, yep. go ahead. This goes back to 16 years old. Can in root beer and drive in dire burn. <laughs> Which two are you going to do, the rib and the chicken? I can do the rib and the chicken. I'll do the beans and the mac and cheese. Okay, so I just want to bite the rib. All right, there you go. Mitch doing the rib. I'm going to hit this piece right here. Wow. I can see the. I can see oh. it from here. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little trouble with the camera there. I was like, it was all crooked. It was a Batman episode. <laughs> That's really good. I really? Just, it is really good, yeah. The, uh, yeah, that, that's that's good. What did you like about it? Was it the sauce or the... Well, the first of all, the rub, it's, it's, not, it's not really strong. It's not real salty. I didn't have any of the sauce, so that was just right off the, the actual back of the bone. Nice. Where it was burnt, and uh, yeah, that, that had a really good flavor. It's got a little smoky flavor, but I want to try this chicken with this white sauce that you're talking about. So oh, that's the Alabama white sauce. They put it on there, by the way. Okay, I'm so. Guessing, does it look good? Does that look good to you? Hold on, hold on. That's just, is that smoke it, or not? I cooked? think it's probably smoked. Smoke? Yeah. It's so hard to tell when you're smoking chicken. It does. All right, here we go. That sauce is good. The chicken's good though. It is. It's very moist. It's tender. Um, it's good chicken. Let me try the Alabama white sauce because yeah. you guys are describing it like I'm not used to. There it is. Here we go. Yeah, that's it. I love this. Okay. I love the Alabama white sauce, but it's just a preference. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the baked beans. A little bit of meat in there. You can see there's bits of meat. Um, tangy. Uh, it's edible, it's, it's not above and beyond, but I'm eating it, so it's good. But it's not my favorite. All right, so let's try the uh, mac and cheese now. Here we go. Look at the cling. Mac and cheese, look at that. Look at that, guys. Hold on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Loaded. Uh, oh, man. Guys, they have a cheese in there that's different than any place we've been to. Yeah. Remember we were talking about putting special yeah. cheese there? Yeah. This cheese has a kick. You guys are going to love the mac and I cheese. I do. I do. Is that, I almost want to say Gruyere. It's they, well, Parmesan. Maybe it's Parmesan. Parmesan. Yeah. It's, it's it. Parmesan. Yeah. It's Parmesan. Got a bite to it. Wow. Okay. That's some great yeah. mac and cheese. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah? The mac and cheese. That's just the Unbelievable. Outstanding. Oh, look. Here. Look at this. See this juice right here? There we go. I had to wipe that up. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Come into this rib right here. You good? Watch this, guys. Watch this. It's magic. Look at that. Look how it pulls right off the bone. It doesn't come off the bone until I want it off the bone. That is perfect ribs right there. Amazing.
Well, we finished up tonight with uh, Saws in Homewood, Alabama. It was worth the wait. Ribs, tender. Pull it off the bone. You saw it. Um, new concept. Brought our food out on meat trays. And that brought back some memories. My grandfather being a meat cutter. And uh, it was just the slaw is excellent. Uh, this is going to be good. This is going to be top ratings uh, as far as I'm concerned. Probably, if not the best, at least second best of the places we've stopped so far. And uh, it is well worth everything just everything just jumped off your tongue. I mean, it was just it was just wonderful. Just great. Okay, guys. So uh, we're here at Saws uh, tonight. This was our last stop, and uh, by far this one was uh, this one was really really good. Um, all the meat was uh, absolutely outstanding. The ribs, they fell off the bone. The chicken was good. Um, they do have the barbecue white sauce here. Um, I think that's a preference uh, to me. Not so much, but uh, I know everybody around here likes it. But um, it, it was it was just really great. The coleslaw is the first vinegar slaw that I've ever liked uh, in my entire life. So thumbs up on that guys um, I was a little disappointed they didn't have the brisket they said they have it on the weekend so if it was closer to the weekend I'd definitely come back for it but man I'll tell you what uh, like Jim said I think this is probably the second best so far we've been through um, on our tour so far so we'll see what tomorrow brings all right guys so um, I'm really bummed because I know they're gonna get hit for not having brisket even though they carry brisket on the weekends we can't do anything about that we're not gonna come back uh, but I have to tell you, I can almost guarantee their brisket is flawless. So try it on the weekend, let me know. Uh, if you're in the area, uh, we're near Bir is Birmingham? Yeah. We're near Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, Saw's Barbecue, amazing. Lots of people told me about it. Highly rated. Everything on the plate was awesome. Uh, I even like the Alabama white sauce. If you've never had it, give it a try. Don't listen to Mitch. All right, guys, um, so we're going to rate this right now. The score will be down below. It's on the screen. And, yes, it's it's one of our highest of the trip. Uh, we're really excited. We didn't know what to expect because it was just like, I don't know. We never heard a lot of rumors about it, but some people just pointed us in this direction. Good thing they did. I love you guys. God bless, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.